Hello everyone and welcome to the School of Serenity. In this video, I want to share with you five lessons that I've learned from Dwight Schrute on how not to be mindful. Lesson number one, pick cluttered work and live-in spaces. These days, a mobile office isn't just for hotshot politicians. Now anyone can rent a work bus. If you've got a parking lot, a workspace is just a phone call away. In this age of belt tightening and less empowered workers, a work bus is... No, six, I forget, no. And it's 2399 Six, yeah. yes. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. Our living spaces have a significant impact on our mental health. So if you want to be stressed out and nervous all the time, then you should pick untidy and cluttered spaces. But if you want to be peaceful and relaxed, then you need to make sure that your living space, your workspace is clean and not cluttered. Your living space is a reflection of your mental state of mind. If your place is cluttered, it means that mentally you're also dealing with a lot of negative and disorganized thoughts in your life. Lesson number two, eat unhealthy foods. I have the best stocked survival shelter in northeastern Pennsylvania, but everything has a shelf life, so I must eat and then replace everything that's about to expire. It's nice not to have to plan my meals. We are really what we eat. The food that we consume has significant impact on our mental health. Foods with higher carbohydrate content, like fast foods and sugary snacks, are terrible for somebody who suffers from stress and anxiety. These kind of foods upset the balance of good and bad bacteria in the body and they actually increase the level of stress and anxiety in the body. Lesson number three, be judgmental. Let's go over some of the symptoms of marijuana use, shall we? You tell me who this sounds like. Slow moving inattentive, dull, constantly snacking, shows a lack of motivation. Hey. Being judgmental and critical of other people is a great way of becoming anxious and nervous. That's because when we are being judgmental of other people, what we are doing is we are training our mind to be judgmental and critical at all times. And this is okay when other people are around because we can focus on them. But when there's nobody around, the brain is going to turn on us and it's going to be criticizing us. And this can reduce our self-esteem and self-confidence. Lesson number four, disrespect others. Okay, that is not an eight-foot sub. Uh, we don't make an eight-foot sub. This is eight one-foot subs. F. All right, what's the damage? Uh, 3960. Uh, 39. 60. Other people usually treat us the way that we treat them. So they are reflecting back to us the way that we perceive them and the way that we treat them. So if you wanna receive respect from other people, we need to respect them. Lesson number five, ignore work-life balance. But I've got a great daily routine going right now. I've upped my karate to eight times a week. I've added boxing, lunches and on weekends. I do kickboxing three times a week, Krav Maga four times a week, an hour of meditation every morning at sunrise and again at sunset. So yeah. I'm doing great. Everything is great in moderation. These are all great ways for us to build confidence. But when there is no balance, in other words, when we focus too much on working or we are focused on exercising too much, then this becomes a challenge. What is going to happen is that we are going to burn out and we are not going to be able to achieve our goals in the long term. Uh, in other words, if you want to be successful 
we need to have that long-term perspective in mind and have a balance in life so that we can sustain it in the long term.